Hello everyone, welcome back. This is another video in the uh, playlist that I have for uh, lawn care. And the first one was about sharpening your mower blades. We did a video about soil amendment, about um, uh, dethatching and scarifying your lawn. And um, this one is about seed and seeding. So I'm gonna do something very different than what I've done in the past when it comes to to seeding my lawn or buying grass seed for my lawn. I'm not going to one of the big box stores to purchase you know, the cheapest lawn seed that I can find or something that uh, looks like it's got great marketing on the package. I'm gonna buy a quality grass seed this time and that's what I'm going with. I'm going with the uh, Jonathan Green Black Beauty Ultra. The bag looks like this and I'll explain what this is. So this product was developed years ago and it was, um, it's a combination of a grass seed that, was, that comes from the Sahara that has uh, uh, really good qualities when it comes to retaining moisture so that way it can, it's drought resistant and also another seed uh, f that was out of uh, Michigan where it's extremely green. And you put these two together and you've got this grass seed. It's got a waxy coating on it when the grass grows, not, not the seed, but the grass after it grows. We'll have this waxy coating that makes it drought resistant and also disease resistant. You're gonna have that nice green color. If you have this seed growing where you have your existing lawn, you'll, you'll actually notice, especially if you do it in, a, in an area where you're not doing it in the other area, you can see the darker, you'll be able to see the darker green color versus your existing lawn. Uh, the other thing is, is that this, uh, this is a mix and I'm gonna to explain to you what's, what seeds are in here, okay? So you're going to have 29.5% um, Montana tall fescue. This is all by weight also, not based on the number of seeds. 29.5% uh, uh, future tall fescue, about 19.5% perennial ryegrass, and 9% uh, galsanda tall fescue, and about 9, 9.8 or 10% Kentucky bluegrass. And Kentucky bluegrass seeds are smaller. So like I said, this is by weight. So as far as the number of seeds that you get with bluegrass, it's gonna be higher than 10%. The important thing here is the uh, weed seed is extremely low. It's 0.03%. That is something that you need to look at because some of the other seeds you might buy have a greater concentration of uh, a greater uh, percentage of weed of weed seed and other. Now the the Black Beauty is is a seed that Jonathan Green makes in multiple versions. This is the Ultra, which is good for both uh, sun and shade. And um, you're gonna watch me apply it on the lawn. But I want to talk about you know how to apply the seed and then also where on my lawn I'm gonna put this seed versus another version of the Black black beauty seed so you're hearing here uh, some wind chimes and birds so sorry for the distraction um, first thing is is that you don't want to apply this right before a, a big storm you don't want to have your seed washed away I think that's that's understandable when when you talk to someone about that but not too many people look at the long-range forecast before they apply anything to their lawn. You don't want to do that with seed or any of the other products that you put down. You don't want a complete washout. Uh, the other thing you want to do is mow the grass short and then you also want to you know, make sure you're, you're dethatched and scarified because you need to have really good seed to soil contact. So if you have a lot of matting happening and you can't really see the, the, the dirt, the soil, you want to be able to, to do that. So I have another video in the playlist, which again, I'm gonna list, I'm gonna link right up here to the playlist, uh, where I take you through dethatching and also scarifying, and you can see how all of the grooves are created by the machine. You can, uh, you can do it that way. So you can, uh, the other thing you can do is rent a slice seeder if you'd like. And what that'll do is you set it at the right depth. You don't wanna be any deeper than a quarter inch because you just want just enough seed to soil contact. You don't want to go a half inch or deeper because you'll never germinate. You can rent a slice seeder and what that does is, is it drops the seed and slices a, a groove and the seed will go in that groove and you can go in multiple directions and make sure you're getting good seed to soil contact. So you can do that 
or like I said, you can uh, scarify your lawn and then just use a regular cedar like you're gonna see me do. So um, let's, uh, let's go apply the seed right now. And then, um, uh, but first I'm gonna show you where on my lawn I wanna do this. So in the backyard here, we've got um, a, an area here where it's, it gets pretty sunny during the day. And this is where the uh, Black Beauty Ultra is gonna be applied. And then as you can see here, we've got a lot of trees. And this, these areas back in here on the back side of the property are very shady. And in the, in the next video or upcoming video, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the, the Black Beauty Dense Shade uh, version that we're gonna apply there. Okay, so over here, this is the side yard in the front. And this has really been bad and has probably been looked the worst of every area of my lawn. This has been the, one of the, the worst spots. And I'm really hoping that this uh, Black Beauty Ultra will do the job that's needed to make this thing look good again. And over here behind the fence, we're gonna go with the uh, shaded version. So over here, we are going with Black, Black Beauty Ultra through the entire front yard and even as we get around to the side and then probably the dense shade right and maybe six feet behind the fence. So we're gonna mow short, we're gonna scarify and we are going to get the seed down. Uh, like I said, you can, you can watch the scarifying and, and dethatching video in the playlist. I'm gonna, you're gonna watch me put the seed down next. Okay, now the the hardest part is waiting for the grass to germinate and grow. You know, I'll probably be staring at it every single day, just looking for something to pop up out of the ground. But we need to water it, and uh, you don't want to drench it. You just want to keep the seed and the soil moist. We're going to do it twice per day, in the morning and then late afternoon or early evening. You're not supposed to water uh, it late at night. You don't want to have uh, uh, that that uh, moisture sitting there overnight there's a lot of negative uh, impact to that that I've been reading about uh, so I'm gonna stick with what the experts recommend which is early morning and then and then again late afternoon so um, until the point where the grass is now growing and then you can you can alternate and change how it how you water so what you're gonna watch me do next is um, is uh, provide a second follow-up video after the grass has started to germinate and I'm going to provide you with stages and the progress to see what this grass will look like and again it's not a brand new lawn this is a renovation so you're going to see this grass come up in areas where I already have some grass and over time this thing is just going to look great so uh, stick with me here and watch the, the follow-up video we're going to do a um, I'm not sure which one I'm going to publish next it's either going to be the dense shade or the the uh, video about uh, starter fertilizer. So uh, stay with me and I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video.